I was the first person to paddleboard the length of England, and then I was the first female to paddleboard across the English Channel. Being on the water helped me restore my health, and now I feel like I want to give something back and restore the health of the waterways because they need it. Paddleboarding was my way to tackle the plastic pollution. My name's Lizzie Carr, I'm an adventurer, environmentalist and paddleboarder. I started paddleboarding purely as a way of getting fit again after I was diagnosed with cancer. The first time I put my paddle in the water, it was like meditation. It was this really calming, serene experience. And then all of a sudden I'm on the water and I'm seeing plastic everywhere. On all the journeys I've done, bottles are by far the most common thing I've found. I think I've probably picked up thousands of these. You see how big and how immediate and close the problem is. 80% of marine debris starts in land, so effectively from our waterways before it flows out into the oceans. For me, it was always about using adventure and paddleboarding as a way to get people thinking and talking about plastic pollution. I decided to paddleboard the length of England from its most southerly point to its most northerly point through the connected waterways network. I started in Godalming in Surrey and I paddled 400 miles to Kendal in the Lake District. It took 22 days to complete and I photographed and logged every single piece of plastic that I encountered on that route. I took over 3,000 photographs, thousands and thousands of pieces. What I logged was a crazy amount and that's not even a fraction of it. My next adventure was paddleboarding from England to France. So it was about 24 miles that I crossed on the English Channel and take water samples every fourth mile to analyse microplastics. And if you look closely, you can find these tiny piece of microplastics where it looks like styrofoam has just broken down. And obviously that never goes away and that's when it gets really dangerous because that's when marine life confuses this for food and they eat it. And you can see it all over. This Saturday we're going out in North London and we're doing a big clean up there with the community. Welcome to Plastic Patrol. And then we'll just get out on the water and spend a couple of hours just paddling around and, and looking for litter and, and putting it in the buckets that we have at the front of the boards. Over the last few years of Plastic Patrol, we've collected 189 tonne bags of plastic waste and removed them from our waterways. And I look at every single one like a victory. You're seeing the very best and the very worst of humanity. The worst is represented by all of the plastic and the sheer volume of plastic that you're there clearing up. And the best is the people trying to fix that. I feel more proud of that than I do of paddleboarding a distance. <laughs>